We have another impressive small open source language model. 5.4 was just released from Microsoft. This is a 14 billion parameter MIT licensed model that you can access on Hugging Face right now. And what's really impressive with this model is even though it's a 14 billion parameter model, on the MMLU, this model ranks up there with Llama 3.370B as well as Quen 2.570B. So in this video, I'll quickly go over the model card. I'll touch on just a couple pieces within the technical report. And then I'll show you how you can set this up and run it on your machine, as well as within your IDE if you'd like to try this out. First, let's read through the description as it's stated here. 5.4 is a state-of-the-art open model built upon a blend of synthetic data sets. The data is filtered from public domain websites and acquired from academic books and QA data sets. The goal of this approach was to ensure that small capable models were trained with data focused on high quality and advanced reasoning. 5.4 underwent rigorous enhancements and alignment process incorporating both supervised fine tuning and direct preference optimization to ensure precise instruction adherence and robust safety measures. So in terms of the architecture, like I mentioned, it's a 14 billion parameter dense model. It does only support text inputs and it is optimized for a chat format. Now, in terms of the context length, it's 16,000 tokens of input. In terms of the GPUs that it was trained on, it was trained on 1920 H100s and it took 21 days to train. The training data was just shy of 10 trillion tokens and the knowledge cutoff date is June 24 and earlier for some public available data. Now, what's interesting with this is its original release date was December 12th, but this was really overshadowed by things like OpenAI's 12 days of shipments, where they'd ship a new feature each weekday, which sort of correlated with a lot of releases that we saw from Gemini. So this really fell through the cracks. I have to say, honestly, I didn't even know this came out until there was a little bit of action on X today, and I noticed some discussion about it. In terms of getting started, you can pull down Olama, which is a great option on running these models both locally, but you can also deploy Olama to cloud services as well. I do have some videos on that if you're interested. So if you don't have Olama to set it up, it's really easy to set up. You can just download on Mac, Linux, or Windows. So once it's downloaded, you can go ahead, Olama run 5.4. Now, if it's the first time that you're pulling down the model, it will take a little bit of time. I think 5.4 is about 10 gigabytes of data. In terms of my machine, what you're seeing in terms of response time, so I have an M3 MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro chip, and it has 18 gigabytes of memory. I don't have a ton of memory. My computer definitely isn't optimized to run models locally. I know there are a ton of people out there with like really jacked up machines with like 128 gigs. I definitely don't have a machine like that. I'm GPU poor, so to speak. I don't have any NVIDIA hardware or anything like that. But with that being said, the response times that I got are definitely really impressive, especially if I was in a pinch, if I didn't have internet, or if I was in a scenario where maybe I wasn't paying for a service like Cursor, or I ran out of tokens and I didn't want to renew or something like that. This is a really great option on being able to have this model locally. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out that works really great with Olama is Continue. Continue is a great tool you can pull down. It's a VS Code extension. I believe you can also use this in Cursor or Windsurf, even if you'd like, given that they are forks of VS Code. And what you'll be able to do is with Command L, you can open up this chat panel on the left-hand side and you can ask a question. So if I say generate express server that says hello world, I can go ahead and submit that. And the great thing with this is it's a much more ergonomic feel, especially for coding, where you'll be able to just put in the code and see all of the different pieces that you need to do along the way. You can just obviously copy the different pieces that you need to paste within your terminal or for the code that it generates itself, you can go ahead and just click a button and it will port that code right directly within the file that you're working in. You can see this insert at cursor button here, or you can apply it similar to the apply feature within tools like cursor. That's just another way on how you can leverage 5.4 if you're interested in using this within a coding context within an IDE. Next, I just wanted to quickly touch on the technical report. So this report, what's really impressive with this is this model actually outperforms even GPT-40 on GPQA as well as MAP by about six points on each respectively. In terms of some of the coding benchmarks like human eval, this scores an 82.6, whereas a Llama 3.3 70B instruct scores just a 78.9 in comparison 
as well as Quen 2.5 at 80.4 respectively. So it still is about eight points shy from GPT-40, but for a model that's just 14 billion parameters, this is really impressive and a really great option for a model of this size. So there is a ton of information within this technical report. It's about 36 pages. If you're interested in diving into all of the specifics about how this model was trained and how they created this model, I'll link all of this within the description of the video. I look forward to the future five models that hopefully will be coming out soon. Kudos to the team at Microsoft for this new release. I love to see these small local models that more and more people will be able to use. Let me know your thoughts within the comments of the video, but otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next one.